Well, look, hello again. What I'd like to actually do in this module is really, um, once again, address Kirchhoff's voltage law and Kirchhoff's current law. But I want to look at a, maybe an alternative uh, convention here so that you're really familiar with both. Well, as before, we're going to define our current direction. We've got an arbitrary choice here, but I'm going to define it in this direction. And as before, it is very important to label our voltages consistent with that current direction. So if the current is going in this direction, I'm going to label this plus minus. Going in this direction, that is a plus minus. So the current is what? Flowing from a high to a low. It is that convention that we still need to preserve and that will keep us out of a lot of trouble. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to take a loop. Okay, so there's our loop and we're going to simply sum the voltages around the loop in order to find that current I but I'm going to use a slightly different convention here as we sum these voltages around that loop. All right, so here's our loop. Okay, which way around the loop? It doesn't make any difference. So look, let's go this way around the loop. Now, before I had said to you, as you sum the voltages, and this is the convention, as you go from a high to a low, you're falling and we'll call it negative. Okay, so we're going high to a low, so that would be a minus 15. High to a low, that would be a minus I2K. High to a low, that would be a minus I1K. High to a low, that would be a minus 20, and all of that's equal to zero, okay? That's a great way to do it. Another way that you might see people explain this, and some textbooks may do this, is the following. As you travel around the loop, when you see the first positive sign here, you'll just simply call it positive. And so you would say, all right, I'm coming around the loop. The first thing I see is that positive sign. And so I'm going to call that a plus 15. So as I travel around the loop again, I see a positive sign here. And so I'm going to call that a plus, what? I times 2K. Coming around, I see a positive sign first. And I call that an I. That voltage is an I times 1K. Coming around the loop again, I see the positive sign there. I say that is a plus 20, and all of that is equal to zero, okay? So we're gonna solve, aren't we, for this i. So what do we do here? We're going to basically uh, take the 15 and 20 to the other side, which is what? That is equal to a minus uh, 35. I'm gonna collect the i terms together. So I've got an i times what? I've got an i times 2k plus a 1k, so that's a 3k, and therefore my i is then equal to this minus 35 divided by that 3k, all right? So that's what i comes out to be, and that's all very well, okay? And that's another way that you can actually approach this problem. You get the same answer. There's gonna be no difference here. It's basically like changing all the signs through the equation here. So you would get the same exact answer. Let me just quickly show you, all right? So if I'd done it the other way, okay, so the way that we had considered in the past was to do what? Go around the loop, plus to a minus, that is what, a minus 15. Uh, then we've got a minus I 2K, a minus I 1K, and then dropping again, that is a minus 20, and all of that is equal to zero, right? Okay, so what are we gonna do here? We're gonna collect all our terms together. So what is this? Minus 15, that's a minus 35, isn't it? Uh, I'm gonna take my i's to the other side is equal to what? An i times 3k. And so from this, we can say that i is equal to minus 35 divided by 3k. Exactly the same answer as we had before. Just another way of approaching that same problem. You should be aware of that because, as I say, some people will actually solve problems in this fashion. Some textbooks uh, will do it this way and some textbooks do it the other way. It's probably about 50-50 in terms of the approach that's used. So therefore, you should be aware of both of these. Okay? All right. Well, look, I'm, I'll give a break at this point and... Um, uh, look, I'll see you next time, perhaps with another example.